Hey Virgos, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. Welcome back. Welcome back to your How Do They Feel About You. Um, I do this every Friday. So this is a reading for all Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. And this reading will be about how your, how your person uh, is feeling about you, what they're thinking, what they want to say, etc., etc. Okay, so the way I have this reading laid out, and this will be for the week coming up, okay? We have fire signs, divine masculine, um, water, earth, and air, and then we have the divine feminine, fire, water, earth, and air. And I'll go through each one, and there will be timestamps. If you want to get a personal reading from me, there is a link in the description box below this video. Just click that link and that will take you to my booking site. Also, I will be going live Saturday, uh, the 13th, November 13th, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here on my channel, where you can get a personal mini reading with me, okay? All you have to do is just show up and... All the instructions, they are paid readings, so I don't do free readings on that day, okay? There will be a link for the upcoming live stream, so just make sure if you want to join in there, just make sure that you um, hit the notification bell so you'll be alerted of when I actually, you know, when I go live. But it will be this Saturday, November 13th, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, okay? All right, Virgo, so... Welcome, you guys. Let's get started. Let, we're going to take a look at the Divine Masculine Fire, Leo Sagittarius Aries. If you are in a connection with a Divine Masculine, Leo Sagittarius or Aries, the love message for you in regards to this person, pay attention to the red flags, okay? So there's something here about this person that you maybe have overlooked in the past, or you saw it and you weren't sure what to do if you're still connecting with this person, the message here for you is you're being cautioned about a fire sign or, you know, whomever you're connecting with. This could be a romantic partner. This could be a friend, a family member, a co-worker. This is a divine masculine fire sign. Pay attention to the red flags. There's something about this person where you've been getting warnings about them and you need to start paying attention to this and these warnings, okay? So this person's got just being near you is intoxicating, Virgo. This, so I'm looking at that big fat word, toxic, okay? You need to be careful with this person. There is an element here of toxicity with them, okay? Just pay attention. Don't, don't create red flags if there aren't any, but just be open to receive and see what's going on. I feel like this person is kind of obsessed with you, um, could be physical, or you know when they're around you, it, it feels like maybe you are, they view you as like, I don't know, like they're addicted to you or they, they just, it feels like a heavy toxic obsession with you. Okay, so pay attention, that's the red flag. That's the red flag. All right, let's take a look here at the fire sign feminine. If you're connecting with a fire sign feminine, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Okay, trust. So you're being asked to trust this person, okay? Or that the situ... No, I'm sorry. I take that back. You're not being asked to trust the person. You're being asked to trust the situation, Whatever situation is going on with you and a fire sign female or feminine, you're being asked to trust that. Does that mean, so please make sure that you understand that I just rephrased that. Um, it's not trusting the person, but trusting the situation regarding them, okay? Whatever that means for you. Let's see what the message is here. Okay, hmm, this person... It feels like that unknown truth or that hidden truth that they would tell you is that they lost themselves for a little while or they got lost. I don't know if you are communicating with someone this week and they're late and they tell you they got lost. Um, <laughs> this is such a weird message. I don't know if you don't believe that or you won't believe that. I'm not seeing whether or not that's true. 
Um, but I feel like whatever your intuition is telling you about this situation with this person this week, you need to trust that. Trust your gut, okay? All right, let's move on to the water sign divine masculine. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, this week, water sign, divine, masculine, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, okay, true love, okay, well, it feels like if you're connecting with the water sign, divine, masculine, um, this is the romance of a lifetime, this is your true love, uh, let me see here. What other message do you have? Okay, this person wants to feel you again. Or they want to connect with you. They want to feel a particular way. This person's really in love with you, Virgo. I feel like they are. And I feel like you have, you know, only if you're connecting with this, that sign. I feel like this person, how... It, Whatever you had or whatever particular, they felt some type of way with you before. I'm not exactly sure what that was, but it feels like they want that back. They want to feel that love again with you, that love energy. And so during this week, that's going to be very, um, I want to say, strong with them. Okay, very strong with them. All right, let's check out the divine masculine or the divine feminine water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, feminine. You're connecting with a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, feminine. Okay, this is new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Okay, so you might have some type of new love situation happening with a water sign feminine. Okay. Um, or you're stirring something up in, with this person this week. Let me take a look here and see what other message. It was my fault, but I blamed you. Okay, for some of you, this could have been someone you were connecting with before, and it feels like they want to tell you um, that they want to try again with you. They're coming clean. That's what I feel like this week. They're coming clean. Okay, for some of you, this could be somebody new um, that they tell you, like they're ready for new love, but their past relationship, they admit some kind of fault that they, they blame their other person when it was actually their fault. I feel like maybe a confession of some sort is coming forward. But for others, this could be like a recommitment to love where this person opens up and they tell you that um, they want to try again. It was all of their fault. That's what I feel. Like it was all their fault. They take the blame now. It's bizarre. All right, let's take a look at the earth sign masculine if you're connecting with an earth sign masculine virgo taurus capricorn what's going on with this person this week okay it's a past life relationship this person feels like you've known each other forever they recognize um it feels like they want to reconcile with you this person recognizes that your connection is is like you've it's like meant to be they want to keep something going if it's not reconciliation. It just, it's like they feel like they've known you for like their whole lives, and which is very profound. It's very profound. There's some kind of energetic thread between the two of you. Some kind, of, this is how they feel. This person, wow. <laughs> they replay the, your conversations over and over. So I kind of get a sense that this earth sign masculine feels it's like they're always thinking about you they're checking this is someone who dots every i and crosses every t they, there's a perfectionist energy with this person they want to make sure they're doing everything right because they feel like they've known you forever like they don't want to lose you 
It was very interesting. A very perfectionist kind of an attitude with this person. All right, if you're connecting with a feminine earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Okay. Okay, this person is letting go of any control issues. Um, they want to allow this situation or the relationship between you to just basically unfold naturally okay they don't this person does not want to force anything they're not chasing they're not doing anything else but they just want it to be organic and to let things just evolve naturally with you okay this earth sign feminine this person also has regret for lying to you about something or um or just not maybe withholding something or not telling you some type of truth about something when the opportunity rose. I do feel like they are going to admit something to you, um, but they were holding back. I feel like they were holding back. They, they're waiting for, this person is waiting for the right time to tell you that they're sorry for lying for something or withholding when the time arose for them to say something to you they didn't jump on it for whichever reason maybe they just couldn't um but it feels to me like when the time is right they're going to apologize for lying or tell you about that situation and admit or tell you the truth about something okay so let's move on to the masculine air sign Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, if you're connecting with a masculine air sign. Okay. Oh, soulmate. This person thinks that you are their soulmate. <laughs> no one else is there for them. No one else for them. No one else is there for them. You are it, Virgo. You guys are soulmates. That's how they feel. Okay. But they know they messed everything up. <laughs> Wow, this feels like more like a confessional <laughs> type of thing going through. Like, you know, how does this person feel about you? But it's also like there are a lot of like apologies coming up this week. Are people wanting to reconnect or connect again or just have progress? Except for this fire sign. I feel like the fire sign thus far is just the fire sign male masculine is someone if you were connecting with them you'd be just very careful with them all right oh car's falling out let's take a look at the air sign feminine libra aquarius gemini air sign feminine and remember you guys this is just a quickie okay oh you deserve love you are lovable so this air sign feminine feels virgo that you are like the cutest thing ever to them. They think that you are so adorable and so handsome and so beautiful and everything about you. They feel like you deserve love. They, they just think that you are the most lovable person. Like they could just squish you in their arms and kiss you and hug you and cuddle you. <laughs> oh, and they want to tell you this. Wow. I want to tell you how, you, how, how that I feel. This person, this divine feminine air sign wants to express their feelings towards you. And that's what they want to tell you, how lovable you are, how, how cute and adorable that they think you are. It's just beautiful little expressions of love for you, Virgo, from this divine feminine air sign. And it looks really cute. I think like this week, there's a lot of good energy playing out here. During this week, I just feel like you, some of you just have to be careful of the male fire, the masculine fire, um, because it just feels like an element of like some uh-oh energy. Um, some of you might already know about that intoxicating thing going on with them, but let me see here. I want to get a couple of cards for your advice overall, Virgo. What are your overall messages? What are Virgo's overall messages for the week going forward? Okay, so you have the Three of Pentacles. There's definitely marriage coming. 
There's healing here, four of swords. There's, see, I said marriage. There's the four of wands. Some of you might even be getting proposals this week or the rest of, throughout the rest of this month. Two marriage cards and healing energy. Um, there's teamwork, working together. There's family reunions. Some of this could be happening around the holidays um, where stuff begins to pick up for you in your love life with whomever you're connecting with i just feel like um i'm feeling like a time out with somebody to heal something whomever your person is whomever you're connecting with whatever timestamp sign you're clicking on it feels like a lot of relearning things kind of re-communicating in a better healthier way healing communication um, reunion, reconciliation for some, and family gatherings, parties, celebrations, weddings, whatever might be coming up, and possibly marriage um, or coming into a higher level of commitment with someone. All right, Virgo, so that's going to be your quickie for the weekend and through next week. And I will be back next Friday with the same reading. I will see you guys very soon. Take care.